It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Room here to run. And they're going to have this way down in Cincinnati territory. It's a big play there for Seattle. So that one just a little touch pass, but it paid off quite handsomely. Yeah, and let's face it, the quarterback loves it because it pads his stats as a completed pass for nice yardage downfield. But I like the way they get the receiver in motion. It's almost like he's running a route before he gets the football because he's got a full head of steam when the ball is popped in his direction. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. There's a fast release by Wilson out to the flag. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage. Back at the 17. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Certainly not what they wanted defensively. We're hoping to hold them to a field goal. Instead, they're able to convert the third and long here on the opening drive. So not only was it a flip and field position and a flip in fortunes, but how about mentally? You just described it. They were hoping to force them into a field goal there. Instead, they give up the big gain, and now it's first and goal. The offense has got them on their heels. They'll try to run with Lindsey, and he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Philip Lindsey with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through, and it's now a 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. 
Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. That catch good for five. It's third down. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. Now it's Burrow. And that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And it's taken in at the nine. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own night. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. First down, here's Burrow. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Bobby Wagner, a loss of six yards on the sack. If protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Joe Mixon, the ball A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A gain of six yards, and it's third down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now Joe Mixon. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. 56. From the 25 on second down, Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out 
of the gun. Here's Wilson. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Sam Hubbard able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll pull it down. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. And the Bengals grab it. Well, let's be frank, you hate the fumble at the end of the play, but prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Burrow. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. They'll run here with Nixon. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. It's second and eight. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good positioning, and it's picked off. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 right at the 30. After the interception, here's Wilson. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went in the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20 their own 20-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. He was brought down. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Now a pass hauled in downfield. The 20, 10, and all the way in, touchdown, Sam. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. 
guys have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't. And now look at him go. Pass the 20. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Auden Tate. Auden Tate, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Kick well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. They begin this drive with Chubb. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. complete. Seven yards on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. On third down, Wilson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Complete to number 15. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bengals strike quickly here for six points. And he's able to put it through. Makes the score, Bengals 21. Seahawks. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They go play action with Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A gain of 13, it's a first down.
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Number Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. He's brought down. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A four-receiver set here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and six. From the gun, Wilson. They'll get this complete to Batson. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Operating from the gun, Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They go with Chubb on second down. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Third and nine. Here's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Josh Jones. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. And taking advantage of him, and he did exactly that. I used to have a coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. Point after, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Seahawks, 14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Here's Wilson to throw on third down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Intended for Cameron Batson. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. We have hit half out. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. From the six. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line.
The Bengals drive about to get going. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about accelerating, and off he goes. 20, 10, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Touchdown. Joe Mixon, touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. The well called, line. well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too? Just getting there and taking off and going the for the defensive guys. Run. Plays like that Bengals really hurt. Bengals Point after, run. right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of... And it's a Seattle Seahawks touchdown. They an off air during halftime. Could they mount a comeback, and how would it start? Well, it started in a hurry. Yeah, they have to get back into the game, right? So if you're going to do that, you think to yourself, we need points right here on the opening drive. But even in their best game plan, did they expect it to be a one-point drive and put the points on the board? Probably not. No, probably not, but they got it in a big way. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Seahawks, 21. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Takes it at the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Second down, here's Burrow. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down, Nixon. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Mixon. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. 
before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. On second and 15 now, Wilson. And that one almost intercepted. Wilson. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. Brings up the scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. They go play action now. Wilson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now it's Lindsey. And he's across the chalk into the Philip Lindsay with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Seahawks have made this a one-score game. The kick is good. Extra point splits the uprights. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. 28. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. From the six. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Burrow will throw. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Joe Mixon. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. At the 44-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And now he'll turn, and off his back foot, he'll heave this deep. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are in December, right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. A first carry now for Kofani Muhammad. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. He was well, the end of all that hitting and hollering. It was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back there. They'll feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. 
Now a handoff looking right. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. 27, the ball carrier. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. But well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Throwing on second and eight, Wilson. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of four brings up third and four. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Incomplete. It's fourth down. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bengals drive about to get going. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Throw's going to be incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. On third down, Mixon. And to the 46, he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Oh boy, he fielded it right on the goal line. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Now a handoff here to his running back. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, Wilson. 
Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. And that is incomplete. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. First down, Bengals. Burrow looking to pass. Caught right side, Tate. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it to football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Snags it for the pick. I'm surprised with the lead in a one-score game this late. They're even putting the ball in the air in that situation. Almost makes me feel like the head coach might be second-guessing himself by not clicking on and saying, all we're doing is running it here. But give credit to the guys on defense. They made a play that they absolutely had to have to give themselves a chance to be in this game. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. He was tackled at the 27. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit.
following the pickup of four. Here's second and six. Now Wilson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are on the field. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Flush to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. 14, 14. They'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Wilson to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. This time, Wilson will throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely. Heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And we may very well be headed to overtime. That ties the game. 35-35. Michael Dixon to kick off four. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Taking it about the one. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Their own 22 yard line.
The Bengals drive about to get going. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Take Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough. Someday. And here in overtime, Time. If the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Just inside the 10. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Bengals drive about to get going. They're set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day. Pressure cuts, he's taken down by the Seahawk defense. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Had to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first first down Cincinnati and now the Seahawks are going to call another timeout they'll be left with just one remaining here at OT First down with Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he's got this down to the 35. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mixon with it. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he is in for the score! And it is absolute stunned silence here. 